Day three of the WISIS Forum and former UN Secretary General Kofi Annan dropped in to address delegates at a plenary session. The ITUs teamed up with the Kofi Annan Foundation and One Young World on a new series of youth-oriented online discussions designed to stimulate debate among young people around the world. We, in my generation, are at the leadership level, claim we do a lot for the young, but we never consult them. And really, this is to give them the chance uh, to speak up, to share their ideas, to take uh, responsibility and begin to lead. You know, and I keep reminding them that you don't have to be old to lead. This is their world. They are going to inherit the future and they should begin getting engaged and taking responsibility now. Not everyone can afford the time or the money to come to Geneva in person to attend the WISIS Forum. But we are at the ITU after all, and they're pretty good at using information and communication technology to connect people. And that's exactly what they're doing with remote participation. This session on access is being followed by delegates from across the globe. Governments have to monitor these discussions closely and be able to contribute to the dialogue. How is it when you're a remote delegate? How does it work? Well, uh, it has uh, pros and cons. Uh, the advantage is that you can be at home. And of course, for in these uh, times of uh, economic uh, uh, problems, it's uh, a better option. And uh, sometimes you can even concentrate better because you have your office and you have uh, all your documents. And sometimes it's uh, easier to follow uh, but uh, the disadvantage is that, of course, you cannot uh, have the coffee breaks, the talks in the corridor, so it's a, it's a balance. Now a lot more people can get involved with the conferences, and even if they don't have a landline, even if they don't have a telephone to communicate with us with, because we always recommend people that they use a landline, but they can also uh, voice their questions through the chat. And uh, I'm essentially their voice in the meeting room. Whenever they have a question, uh, whenever they ask for questions, I'll say we have some remote participants that have questions, and I'll say their names, where they come from, and then I can voice their questions for them. National governments are also interested in putting people in touch with the decisions made about them at the top. If governments simply broadcast to a passive public, they can appear remote. But ICTs work both ways. People can talk to their governments or access government services. We are working in e-government to create better condition to the people. Because one of the problems when the state is far away from the people, we need to create a chart of citizenship. The people need to feel that real, the state is the people. Because it's not an other thing that you feel like it's a bureaucracy against you and, or far away from you. We need to change that. For the citizen, he wants a service. And he doesn't, doesn't want to know what is happening in the back end. So what we wanted to do to re-engineer the service, make it very simple, and connect and integrate the government services uh, in the back end to deliver that kind of service in uh, multiple channels. So if you don't have a unified face of the government to the citizens, then you are wasting your money because people will be uh, lost between multiple websites and different ways to deliver the services. That's it from day three of the WISIS Forum. Tomorrow we're taking a look at cyber security and that important question of child online safety.